I never knew that I would end up in maximum prison. And Deputy Commissioner General Waria, he's a young man, we met in those circumstances. He was my boss. Under difficult conditions and quite oppressive regime, he tried very hard to act professionally. He knows what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Chakawa knows what I'm talking about. And I looked at this young man. How is he managing to stay reasonable in an environment like this? He was my boss. I was a bit naughty sometimes because I, I did not accept certain instructions, which I thought were against my human rights. But we got along in a very strange way. He was my boss. Today, he's being sworn in by one of his detainees. Life goes round. And if we all the time we are saving people to the best of our ability, we'll be fine. And it will be noticeable. There is, I never told him, he got a message this morning that he'll be Deputy Commissioner General. I don't know how he felt, but it's how he acted when he was fully in charge, professional, to the best of his ability. I think that's the message I'm delivering. For the colleague, Deputy Inspector General of Police, you know what you've gone through. The nation knows what you've gone through. You're not coming back to punish those who treated you like that, no. You are coming back to show them that you are a better person, that you occupy a higher moral ground than those that persecuted you. I think the story is told. People of Zambia, let's support each other, let's work together. Journalists have a role to play. They must be protected when they come to State House by you, Deputy Inspector General of Police. Today they are journalists, tomorrow they will be presidents, one of them. One of them, may. Life goes round, but if we act professionally, enforce law and order within the confines of the law, you'll be okay. I said to your colleagues last time, we cannot use tear gases on our people willy-nilly. Harmless people, harmless people, tear gas, Live bullets, no. No. But I'm not saying you should not maintain law and order. I'm not saying criminals must not be brought to book. They should and they will, but do it professionally. Soon we'll be talking about law oversight institutions, anti-corruption commission, drug enforcement commission, financial intelligence center. They too have to do their job. Someone misunderstood the message I've given to mean that I have done a deal with those who took people's money. It's a deliberate distortion. Citizens' money must come back to the owners, the citizens. Full stop. But that's not my job. That's the job of those colleagues. I think, Vice President, I deliberately reinforce this message so that we can provide leadership to bring life back to normal in our country. Don't steal from the people. Even the new colleagues, in a few days, will be announcing ministers. And you'll be very happy. You'll be very happy you will agree with me it was worth waiting for. Looking at different things. They should not say the shoes of those who were there before us, the corrupt are bad. They throw them in the bin. In the night, they go and pick them. Tomorrow they're wearing the same shoes. No. No, 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 no. That's not what we're saying. Corruption is corruption. 
Stealing from the people is stealing from the people. But our main interest is to return the money to the owners, the people of Zambia, so they can have water, so they can have food, so they can have those things. I thought I needed to clarify this, Vice President, because I'm listening a lot. I like hearing what social media is saying, what other people are saying. I hope this makes the point clear. With that, it's late in the day.